This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to show you how to replace a touch screen on a Dell Inspiron 14 3 or 5000 series laptop. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. We want to make sure that we have the same model. The model I'm referring to, it came out in late 2014 and this is the type where the glass touch screen does not go all the way to the edge there's a plastic bezel around the glass touch screen older models older versions of this laptop have the glass touch screen going all the way to the edge so this is not the procedure for that one this is the procedure for the newer one okay to find the model number you look on the label on the palm rest Dell Inspiron 14 5000 series and also on the back of the laptop where the label says Dell Inspiron 14-5447. Okay, um, next thing is to make sure that the laptop is turned off. Right now it, it turned on when I opened the lid. So we do a long press of the power button until the keyboard doesn't light up and it's turned off. There's no easy way to remove the battery so we have to make sure that the laptop is completely turned off before we start working on it. And finally let's look at the tools that we're going to use. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed edge and that's used to uh, pry things open and to lift up adhesive tape. We have a pair of metal tweezers that's used to manipulate cables and remove any screws that may be stuck. And we have a PH0 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the screwdriver size and that's to remove screws. Okay, the procedure to remove the screen for this laptop, it's a lot different than most laptops. So if you replaced a laptop screen before this procedure is totally different, so we have to start from the start. The first thing we want to do is to remove this hinge cover on the bottom, snap that off. And the way we do that is we take our hobby knife and pry the hinge cover open at the top. I've removed this hinge cover before, so it's a little bit easier for me, but it shouldn't be too hard. Just reach in with the hobby knife and snap the hinge cover off and pry it open. And keep going. And do the same thing on the back side. So it's already pried open a little bit. So keep going with that. and find the best way to extract the hinge cover. Best way probably is from the back. Close the laptop, stand it on the side, and extract the hinge cover and put it on the side. Okay, next thing, when we reopen the laptop, make sure that it doesn't turn on, otherwise turn off all the way. And next order of business is to remove four screws that are exposed now. There's two right here, two black screws right here that we have to remove, and two screws hidden by the video cable. So we use our fingers or otherwise just use, um, use the tweezers to remove the video cable to expose this screw and this screw. So there's two screws here, and one screw here, and one screw here. So, we use our screwdriver to remove these four screws next. One, two, three, and four. Okay, once we do that, the next step is to snap this back cover off of the of the screen assembly. Usually when you replace the screen you snap the screen bezel off this part 
but in this, our case we have to snap the back cover off. So we stand the laptop on each side and use our hobby knife to pry open at the seam between the metal cover, back cover, and the plastic bezel. And then go around the screen assembly. And listen to the snapping sounds when you do this. And stand the laptop up and go on this side and then go on the bottom snap keep going and finally the back cover snaps off like so. So we put it on the side like this. So the next step is to close the laptop and the back of the screen is exposed now. So the next thing that we want to do is we need, we're going to need to remove the front cover from the, the bezel from the screen so we can remove the screen then. And in order to do that, the front plastic cover is held to the back of the screen assembly by black screws. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black screws that we need to remove. There's also some uh, silver or metal colored screws. If you keep those intact, don't remove those, just remove the black screws. So let's start removing the black screws one by one. One, two, three, and for each step, for each step of the procedure, I like to keep the screws in separate piles in the order in which I remove them, and when putting the laptop back together, this helps me keep track which screws go where. So we keep going, and that's eight screws. Okay, and there's still one more um, set of screws that we have to remove, and we have to remove a plastic piece that's holding the webcam assembly. So we want to remove two more screws. Uh, in our case, one. This particular screw is actually missing on this laptop. So once we remove those two screws, or one in our case, we can put the webcam assembly down. And finally the next step is make sure that the laptop is turned off. It's still turned off. We want to remove the connector. Okay, so for the connector We'll grab it by the back of the video cable. We lift up the adhesive tape, grab it by the back of the video cable, and gently slide the connector out. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to slide it in to show you how to properly connect it. When you slide it in, you should feel but not hear two clicking sounds. That means it's engaged properly. And let's get a close-up look of the connector. This is the way the connector should look like when it's properly connected. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So let's disconnect it again. And the next step, what we want to do, there's some, we slide the laptop around. There's some adhesive that's holding this plastic screen bezel to the screen itself. So the next step is we want to gently lift up, lift the screen bezel away from the screen itself. And you can see where the adhesive is. So 
So try to save as much as the adhesive as you can, but if not, it's not necessary because there's still screws holding the, the bezel to the screen assembly. So if you can't save the adhesive, that's fine. Okay, then we keep going. And we take the screen bezel away and also remove the adhesive from the screen assembly. Uh, you can discard the screen adhesive, like, you, like I said, it's not necessary. And the parts where it's still on, that's okay, you leave those parts, otherwise just peel it off. Because it might get in the way and peel it off here also. Okay, now finally we can get to the screen. The screen is still attached to the metal frame of the hinge cut, metal frame that's connecting it to the hinges with four screws. So the next step is to remove the four screws. There's one here, one here. Yeah, that lighting is not as good, so you can see two and two at the bottom. Okay, for this step, we want to lean the screen back a little bit, and that helps us keep the screen in place once you remove all the screws and the screen doesn't fall forward. So the next step is to remove the four screws and once again we start a separate pile for these four screws. That's two. And when removing the top screws maybe lean the screen back a little bit more because there's nothing holding it in place once we remove the screws and maybe hold it with your fingers. Okay the four screws are removed and we can just gently lift up the screen. Since we already disconnected the connector, it's, it's loose now, it's free. Let's take a look at this screen. Okay, this is a 14 inch LED touchscreen assembly. So it has the LCD and the touchscreen as an integral part. And, um, there's a, for this type of screen, there are several different versions of the screen that look exactly the same, but if you don't get the exact right one, it won't be compatible with this model. So the model that we need, the part number that we need for this screen, and it has to be the exact part number, is B144, B140, XTT 01.2, B140, XTT 01.2 and the FW version has to be one. The HW version does not matter as much, but the FW version has to be one. There's another screen that looks identical to this one, but it's uh, instead of uh, being 0.2 at the end, it's 0 0.0, and that particular screen will not work with this model laptop. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available for sale and we guarantee you that the screen we provide you is compatible and also what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I'm using in the video it comes for free with the screen. We have free email technical support if you run into any problems during the installation and if you're not in the United States we ship it for free using priority mail so you should have it in two or three days. If you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world and um, just follow the regular checkout procedure in our store and select your country. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with a laptop model. That will guide you to buy the right screen online and then you can just purchase it and check out. Okay. Once you get the screen in, uh, confirm that it is the right part number for this. And then the next step is to uh, mount it in the hinge assembly like this. Put the four screws in at the top, four screws in at the bottom. 
make sure that none of the adhesive is getting into the screen area. If it is, just remove the adhesive. It's not necessary. And then put the screen put the screen bezel back on so it fits properly and goes in. Put the eight screws in the back and then put the webcam assembly with the metal frame for that. Put that in the back also. Put the two screws in on top. Then uh, route all the cables or the video cables back and reconnect the connector in the back like I showed you. Then the next thing to do is to snap the metal frame back on in the back. Then you need to mount the antenna assembly so the foam pads that go towards the back of the screen it looks like this and then put the four screws in at the bottom and then snap the hinge cover back on just uh, reverse the procedure the way you did it before when you disassembled it and if you have any problems just play the just go backwards in the in this video and it should be no problem Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.